Hi, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the difference between a moral and a value and give you seven questions you can ask yourself so you can determine them for yourself. As I talk about whether this is codependence recovery, you wanting the greatest relationship possible, great career, finances, health, every aspect of your life, we need a North Star. And to do that, we need to know what our morals and values are, needs and wants, negotiables and non-negotiables. Most people think they know what they are, but they've never sat down and they realize, wow, I didn't even know this. I didn't even know what's guiding my life. And once they do that, they recognize it's because I didn't do this that my life is not where I want it to be. Okay, so let's get right to the seven questions because I know people want to hear that, but stay tuned after that. I'll get into the depth of it so you can understand why these seven questions are so important. All right. The first one is, are my current morals and values working for me or against me? Well, the answer to that is simple. Look at your life story. If your life story is filled with chaotic relationships, divorces, or an unhappy marriage, if you're struggling financially or not in the career you want, if you have health issues, that is proof you are going against your morals and values, needs and wants, negotiables and non-negotiables, and you don't have a North Star. That's the evidence of it. Question number two, are my morals and values based on power? You're going to see why that's important as I continue. Number three, are they based on seeking reward or punishment, especially from my parents? Number four, are my morals and values based on duty and conforming to my parents' beliefs? Number five, are they based on conforming or seeking other people's approval outside of that? Society, friends, coworkers, things like that. Number six, am I willing to face punishment or rejection and cast off duty and conformity and claim my own beliefs? Or does that sound scary and daunting or guilty? Number seven, what would my morals and values and beliefs be if I thought for myself and I pursued the greater good? Now we're going to get into why those seven questions matter so much. To do that, we first have to discuss the difference between a moral and a value. And I'll start with a value first, because values are an individual's deepest beliefs about what is right and what is wrong, and they guide all of our decisions and all, our, all of our behaviors. A moral is different. Morals are our beliefs about those core values, and our morals come from them, and we define that value as either good or bad. So the moral is this value is either good or bad, all right? Our morals are basically derived from society and most of all, our parents' own morals. And this is where they're learned. And whether when we decide this value is either good or bad, that becomes our moral. So let me give you some examples. Our moral might be that it's bad to steal. And therefore, our value is honesty. Or someone might value honesty less and feel that in certain situations, it's okay to steal. Here, like the border issue. Some people feel, you know, hey, it's perfectly okay to break the law. Their value is to let people in. They have less of a, a moral issue with breaking the law because the current law is you have to go through certain stages. But some people value something different. And therefore, their moral is, wait a minute, enforcing the law in this situation is bad. Okay, so that, that's another differentiator. Another example might be our moral might be to work 80 hours a week and therefore we value professional success. Or someone might see that working 80 hours a week is bad because they value friendships and relationships more than success. So do you see how the moral and value play off of each other? And so we can have the same topic and if you value something more heavily, then you'll see something differently. You might see it as good or you might see it as bad depending on what you value. Okay, now, why does this matter, especially in codependence recovery? Well, it matters because of famed psychologist Lawrence Kohlberg. He developed a three-level theory 
on moral development. And this is gonna show you, as I always say, we're all codependents, nobody's immune from it. And when you learn about moral development, you'll see, oh my gosh, everybody's stuck in a prepubescent moral outlook on their life when you learn you know, what he discovered. So there are three levels to it. Um, there, level one is pre-conventional, level two is conventional, and level three is post-conventional morality. Those are the three levels of morality. Now, pre-conventional, this we all go through basically the ages three to seven. And during this time of our life, we're only thinking about what will benefit us. And we're looking for power and to avoid punishment. That's the basic essence of a child. So remember the seven questions, you're gonna to start to see why they're so important. And so if you're, if you're afraid, or if you want power, if you're afraid of punishment, you're seeing, oh my gosh, what Kenny's talking about, how we're always stuck in the past, is I am codependent. I am, my morals are, and values are based on where I was at the age of three to seven because they're all about power and to avoid punishment. Level two, conventional. This is basically ages eight to 13. At this stage of development, we see morals as a duty and are looking for others, people, other people's respect and admiration. And we see it as our job to conform to what others want. Well, what are codependents? Conforming, they're trying to do everything for others, they're looking for outside other esteem. Remember the falsely empowered, they're pursuing achievement. They're stuck in this eight to 13. They're looking for admiration and, and wanna conform. Our society says, if you achieve all this, you're great. So they're conforming to that moral and value of society, all right? Same with the under-empowered codependent. Oh, we have to give ourselves away. So do you see how we're stuck in codependence? That for almost everybody, and as his research showed, only 10 to 15% of people ever even consider true post-conventional morality where they are adult. And that's the proof that we're all stuck. Now, in level three, only, as I said, only 10% of people are capable of even this type of thinking. And he said, most adults never reach this age. That's, now that's, this is what I'm adding. That's how prevalent codependence is in society. And as I say, it's just another of the many examples I use to show how this is what is causing all of our social unrest, relationship problems, health problems, everything. We're all stuck in this. So when we're in that post-conventional, we're willing to cast off the duty and conformity we will take unpopular stances and beliefs, even if it means punishment and rejection, because it's the right thing to do. It's about pursuing the greater good and the ability to think for ourselves. So codependence and most of society are stuck in level one and level two of morality. Their morals and values are skewed. They are those of a child, and that's why their life is in disarray. So now you can see the importance of that. They're stuck in their parents' morals and values. They're afraid of punishment and rejection. They're not ready to cast off those beliefs. They don't wanna take the unpopular stance and feel a sense of rejection. They're not ready, even though they this is where they're out of touch with reality, they think they're pursuing the greater good when in fact they're not. They're seeking power and achievement and um, reward and avoiding punishment. Okay, so uh, again, now let me rephrase those seven questions. Now that we have this new awareness, are my current morals and values working for me or against me? Are my morals and values based on power? Are they based on seeking reward or avoiding punishment, especially for my parents? Are my morals and values based on a duty to carry on society or my parents' beliefs? Are they based on conforming and seeking approval from society or my parents? Am I willing to face the punishment or rejection to cast off duty and conformity and claim my own beliefs? If I was, what would my morals and values be if I thought for myself and pursued the greater good? Now you see why that question, what are my morals and values are so important. It shows us where we are in our codependence journey. So if you think this will help somebody, please share it. Leave me your comments. 
And finally, if this is the type of content you like, please subscribe. And as always, don't be hard on yourself. It's just a journey. Enjoy the journey.